well, 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 there it is. Uh, the the big news we all knew was coming. Uh, Dana had to pull something out of his ass in the middle of Slapgate, and the son of a bitch has done it. Uh, Dana White has just come out fresh out of the devil's mouth himself, and he's confirmed Cyril Garn versus John Jones for the UFC undisputed, keyword undisputed, world heavyweight title at UFC 285 in T-Mobile uh, Arena in Las Vegas. There were leaks yesterday. There was photos of billboards up outside T-Mobile. Um, nobody really knew if they were fake or real, and and now we've got the confirmation. Apparently, there was a bit of a blunder on T-Mobile's side, so here we are. Um, huge fight. Probably one of the biggest fights that will come out of, out of 2023. Kicking off the year with a great fight. Um, we do have to wait until March, which is the only downside. But this is a huge fight. Um, first off, Cyril Garn, one of the, the best pure strikers in, in MMA, against John Jones, the undisputed GOAT, in my opinion, uh, of, of mixed martial arts. That's just an incredible matchup waiting to happen. It'll be interesting to see John's approach to this fight. Will he take the Francis and Garnu um, sort of more wrestling dominated uh, approach? We saw how well that worked out in the Garn versus and Garnu fight. Um, Francis securing the win. I personally still don't think that was a a, a win for him. I'm not going to lie, but it'll be interesting to see what happens. Um, that's going to be such a, a huge, massive fight. It's going to be so good. I can't wait. The only problem is someone has to lose. We're getting the return of John Jones. Been away for three years. It'll be over three years um, by the time this fight happens. I think his last fight was in February of 2020. And we're in March of 2023 by the time this fight happens. So quite a, a long, uh, like a long period away for John. Will that affect him? It, who knows? Um, we know he's been training. We know he's been bulking up. He's obviously... He's a mastermind of the game, so it's no surprise that he's taken this time to adjust and get used to the weight and feel comfortable. So it's just a, it's going to be an incredible fight. Um, the other big news, I guess, that comes with this, like I said earlier, undisputed world heavyweight title, that means Francis Ngannou is a free agent. He's been stripped, or maybe he's vacated the UFC heavyweight title. Um, what does that mean? Who knows? Uh, Dana said that they offered him a contract that would have made him the highest paid heavyweight in the history so of, of the UFC, of course. Um, so what was that amount? Who knows? Where's he going to go next? Rooms of PFL? What does that do for Francis's legacy? I guess nothing, in my opinion. Um, the, the move is probably a, a boxing for him if he wants to make the most money. You know, it's clearly what he wants. Um... So it'll be really interesting to see what happens with, with Francis and Garnu and just sort of what the go is, I guess. It'll be, yeah, I look forward to hearing from him, um, maybe with a bit of insight on, on what was offered, what was discussed, because um, obviously you would imagine that this fight was offered to him against John Jones first. That would, that would have made the most sense, and yeah, no deal was come to, so we move. Um, we also have... Justin Gaethje versus Rafael Fazayev at UFC 286 in the co-main event in London. That's going to be a banger, man. Two Warriors just going at it. Um, it's probably one of the most talked about matchups in the in the lightweight division. Just two people that are going to throw hands. I personally think Justin Gaethje is going to be too much for Fazayev. Um, it's a big step up in competition. His biggest win, arguably, against RDA. Um... So it'll be interesting to see how he holds up. Gaethje hasn't fought since, well, Chandler. That, that, which obviously that was a great fight. Did take a bit of damage. So maybe that'll eventually take a toll on Gaethje. But who knows? Like I said, that is the co-main event though. Um, confirmation from Dana. UFC 286 in London. Main event. Kamara Usman, Leon Edwards. The trilogy fight. The rubber match. Um, I don't know if it is a rubber match. Is that not... Who knows? But we got confirmation. Everyone sort of knew. There was a few reports that Usman's hand was playing up, so we were going to get Edwards versus Masvidal. Um, but now we finally have this confirmation. That's yeah. Can't wait. Can't wait to see Leon win first round head kick again. Um, it will be interesting to see how he holds up with no altitude. Obviously, that was a big part of of the last fight. Was yeah, like the the altitude it definitely took a toll on him. Um, 
So hopefully he, he holds up a bit better. And it's just going to be a great fight. We have such a good year for MMA lined up. Like, it's it's incredible. Um, personally can't wait. But yeah, let me know in the comments. Just a quick video announcing that news. Let me know in the comments what you thought. Are you excited? What, like, how excited are you for Jones Garn? It's going to be incredible. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll catch you on the flip side. Pa 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 pa. Peace.